Now we are going to see how we can set up the ID which is called IntelJ IDEA on our Windows machine. It's pretty simple. So we just have to follow two steps. The first step is to download the latest version of IntelJ IDEA. So we'll be using the community edition. And once we download it, we can install the setup on our Windows machine. Now open up a browser of your choice and in the search bar type download IntelJ IDEA for Windows. Hit enter and click on the first link. Now you will land at the downloads page. Here you will see two options. The first is the ultimate version and the second is the community version. The thing to note here is ultimate is paid version of IntelJ IDEA and community version is the free open source version. So for this project, we'll be using the community version. So click on download and then your download will start. Let's give it some time to complete this download. So our download is now complete. Let's go to the downloads folder where you will find the executable. Double click on the exe installer. Click next on the IntelJ IDEA setup. Again, click next. Now here, there are a couple of options which we can select. So we can create an association for our Java files. So select the dot Java and then click next. Click on install. Now it will start installing IntelJ IDEA on your Windows machine. Once your installation is complete, select run IntelJ IDEA Community Edition and click on finish to launch the IntelJ IDEA. You need to confirm the user agreement. So click on I confirm and then click on continue. Click on don't send and then it will launch the IntelJ IDEA Community Edition. So this is the IDE which is called the IntelJ IDEA. Next, we'll see at some of the features of IntelJ IDEA and some of the options which are present in this particular IDE. Now, let's learn more about the IDE which is called the IntelJ IDEA. First, we will see how we can create a new project. What are the different ways to create a project? Then we'll look at some basics like how to navigate between the different files in the project. What are the different folders which are present in a project? So we'll look at the dot idea folder which holds the project metadata. There is the source folder which will actually contain the complete program code. And then there is the external library which contains all the jars and libraries required for the project. We'll also see how you can install different plugins in IntelJ IDEA, which is a big feature of the IDE. We'll also see how we can change the appearance of IntelJ IDEA and make it more customized. So let's have a look at all of these features in IntelJ IDEA. This is the IntelJ IDEA home screen. To create a new project, we need to click on new project. Then to open an existing project, you can click on open. And here you can select the project location. The third option is to get from version control. So if you click on this, you need to pass a repository URL, something like Git or GitHub, and then clone the repository. Before we create a new project, let's have a look at other options which IntelJ IDEA provides. So click on customize. There you will find options to change the theme and the font size of your IntelJ IDEA. I can change it to a darker theme or I can change it to a light theme. I can also sync with my operating system. 
I can change the font size of IntelliJ IDEA. Also, the font size of your code editor. Next, click on plugins, and here you will find there are lots of plugins which are available at IDE Marketplace. From here, you can install any plugin, and these plugins help you to integrate with different tools like build tools, reporting tools, or testing frameworks. So all of this is possible through the help of plugins. To install a plugin, just search for any particular plugin. Like I can search for Gherkin and it's already installed. But I can surely go ahead for anything like a test framework. Just click on install and then after it's installed, it will ask you to restart the ID. Next, let's go ahead and have a look at how we can create a new project. Click on the new project button and here the Java project is already selected. You can also select any other project from the list. We need to have a project SDK and we already have a JDK version 16 so it's default selected here. We can also download the JDK if we don't have one or add it from our local. Click on next. We don't need to create a project from template, so click on next. Here we need to give a project name. So let's give it sample app. The project location would be default. I don't want to change it. There is no other settings which we need to change, so click on finish. Once the project is created, IntelliJ IDEA will perform some background tasks while creating your project and then a sample folder structure will also be created which is on the left hand side click on project to navigate between your project files expand your project this is the project name and the location then you have a dot idea folder which contains some default files very specific to intelligent idea you have you also have a source folder here you will have all your project related code be it the testing code or your application development code then we have the external libraries this will contain all the libraries specific to the project right now we can only see the jdk 16 library but as we go on adding more libraries it will appear here so this is the project structure and the different files in your project. Next, we will create a new application, which is our Hello World application, and we'll write some code and run it from the ID. Now let's look how we can create a Java program and also run it from the ID. So first we are going to create a new class called hello world.java. We are going to write the Java code to print the hello world. It's a simple code which we have already written in our text editor. Then we are going to execute the Java program from our ID. So let's have a look at how we can create this class and write the code. So inside the source folder, right click and go to new. There you will find Java class. Select the Java class. And then in this window, we need to give a name to our class. And our name would be hello world. Hit enter and that would create a new class called hello world.java. Now you will see by default, IntelliJ IDEA adds this line public class hello world. So every program will have this line. Now inside this public class, we are going to write our main method. So public static void main string 
arcs and inside this main method we are going to write a print statement to print hello world so let's write system and the other feature which i want to show you is the autocomplete feature of IntelliJ IDEA. As soon as you start writing any particular statement, it starts giving you different suggestions on what different classes or interfaces you can use here. So this is the autocomplete feature of IntelliJ IDEA. System dot out dot print ln. So as you can see, it is also showing you what kind of parameters this function poses. Start the bracket and here we'll print hello world. Now the other interesting feature of IntelliJ IDEA is the auto compilation, right? So as soon as I leave the statement here, it tells me that there is an error and there is a semicolon expected here. So it is compiling your code automatically. You don't need to compile this particular code. As soon as you are writing any particular statement, the ID will compile your code. So put the semicolon here and that completes our class. Now there are several ways to run this particular class. If you see, there are small play buttons here so you can run it from the main method you can also run it from the class the other ways of running it is if you right click on your class and go to run hello world dot main so let's do this and you will see here there is the project build background tasks are going on where your project is being built and then it will execute your code so this is the console where it is printing hello world and here you can again rerun your class which is hello world.java and if you go to the top toolbar you will find another option where you can run or debug your class so i can run it from here as well so that as you can see there are different options to run your java program and there are other features like auto compilation and auto completion from your ide